Welcome back. A 100-mile motorcycle ride underway tonight in the memory of a fallen Coast Guardsman from Rhode Island. Eyewitness News reporter Todd Wallace has more tonight on Ronnie's Ride. This is the ninth annual Ronald A. Gill Jr. motorcycle ride, but this year the scholarship fund also reached a significant milestone. Motorcycle riders line up at Cranston High School West, but before they leave for their special trip, a moment to honor the man whose life they've come to celebrate. We have the sun in our face, the wind in our face, but Ronnie is on our shoulder. His memory. Ronald Gill Jr. from Cranston was killed in the line of duty 10 years ago, March 25, 2007, in the Puget Sound in Washington State. Ronnie's ride was started by his family a year later. There are several events that were a part of a scholarship fund in his name, but for his widow, Amber Gill, this one means the most. So something about just being on the back of the bike, yeah. it's so peaceful, so it's a really good time for me to reflect and and just always been my favorite. This is not just a fundraiser. Ronald Gill Sr. says it's also important for Ronnie's daughter, appreciating the event while her grandfather talks about her dad. It's especially important for Gracie that she knows a little bit more about her dad. She gets to learn about him. He's not just that stone at Rhode Island Veterans Cemetery. The foundation has raised more than a quarter of a million dollars. Cranston Mayor Alan Fung says the ride is always well attended. They had, you know, uh, over 200 people sign up before today and ended up inching up close to 300. After the opening remarks, the riders took off on a 100-mile journey that will end with a dinner at the Cranston Country Club. But despite these roaring engines, this event allows Amber Gill to find her peace. So I feel like I can connect to him again. Other fundraising events for the foundation include golf and bowling. In the control room, Todd Wallace, Eyewitness News.